All right, we're sitting here on the CNC Marine 42 Tambara. So this is uh, Luke from Mezcal Fabrications in Newcastle, uh, Redhead to be precise. Uh, he's finished off this boat that we're sitting on. This is the 42 Tambara. Um, stock standard, there's a couple little um, little tweaks that uh, Luke's done. Tell us about this build. Yeah, so it's just the off the shelf 42 Tambara. The only thing we've added is the, the plumb live well in the back here. Um, it was a request after the boat had been built. Um, works really well, but apart from that, like it's it's more of the fit out that's, I guess, a bit leery. The cust customers optioned it with pretty much everything, lithium batteries, electric motor, the, the deck armor, obviously, there's a nice touch. Yeah, um, this is beautiful, actually. Really finishes it off nicely. And we've paired it with a 70 Yamaha. It's, um, it's rated like recommended for 50. Um, it'll get along good, but this really gives it a bit of a punch. This is from Newcastle Yamaha Marine down in Belmont. So I've been working with local blokes, local companies. All this was done locally. Yep. Sort of within a 5k radius of the shed. We're sitting on a 15 degree dead rise with a um, with a solid reverse chine. Yeah. We've just been running around in it, up and down, went across the bar, yeah. and it performs pretty yeah. pretty nicely. She's dry, she's yep. stable. It takes a little bit longer than your, your flatter boats to get on the plane, but once she's up and going, she's, she's just rock solid. I'll take this outside. Like, it doesn't even have to be the best of days. I'll take it out there. Yep. I trust it pretty well. Having that splash well in the back and a, a 25 inch transom is really nice. Yeah. You're at the full self flood, uh, self draining deck. Yeah. We've got a full uh, cast, cast deck up here. Plenty of storage. Heaps of storage up here. And you could use, like, you could put a decent esky in there. Um, no troubles. Um, and then what do we got here? So that's the Garmin Force 57 inch. Um, that's my choice of electric motors. We try and push people to those. So they're super robust, easy action to use to deploy, and the features that you get with them are incredible. She's got a spot lock function, and you can sort of you can chart plot as well. So creeping the estuaries and stuff, it's it's an ideal engine. It's a perfect boat for that size motor too. Great little boat for kind of definitely all your sort of estuary stuff. Estuaries, but, rivers, uh, rivers. Yeah, you but you definitely like on those windy days on those sort of bigger waterways like when there's a bit of chop like you feel comfortable going yeah. like at, yeah. at 60 the chines just keep the spray down it feels nice it doesn't slap around yeah. yeah it's an ideal little boat and and you get off like you definitely go coastal go to the islands oh island yeah hopping. i'd say yeah. yeah if there's a fad sort of within 10 k's and it's not too yeah. bad a day i'd definitely take it out there i'd feel fine doing that just chuck your e-perb in and you're away yeah really good like stable sort of yeah. fishing platform yeah it's not like if you're two dudes on the one side that you're gonna flip it over yeah yeah the i mean my i'm kind of average height and i'm sort of like leaning up really nicely um it's sort of sit, the gunnel sitting like just above my knee um feel quite safe up the front as well yeah the cast deck's big enough to be nice and comfy up there you can take a few steps sideways you're not gonna sort of fall off fully tig welded so yeah so that's sort of something we we choose to do we don't like to have to grind any weld off or any structure so um sort of in inside fillets we run the pulse mig and then any sort of external feature inside the gunnels and stuff we like to just tick it and leave it it's it's a nice touch and it looks built it's sort of i guess our little trademark uh, it's definitely high quality it actually just looks like a piece of jewelry so i've got my house battery down the back in behind these flaps we've so underneath the the standard ba um, it's it's sort of a bench seat uh, and you can use it as a bit of storage so we housed all the plumbing and the house battery underneath and put these canvas covers on with press studs so it sort of finishes that back off and then we've got two lithium batteries up the front here to run the lecky motor it's a good idea to always have dedicated batteries for that because it draws quite a bit these are relaxing seats all sam allen so sam allen's really good jump on there you can just do you go and build out your whole boat, everything rocks up, and it's all the hatch holes are made to fit. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Even the latches, like those latches are meant for uh, 19 mil marine ply, so you can't actually tighten them up on plate. Not thick enough, so that's why they're not templated around for the deck armor. We've actually used that thickness of the deck armor to give it the depth it needs so the lock grabs. Same for the speakers. We um we just put the the speakers in over the deck armor and it sort of acts like a bit of a a buffer for vibration so you don't get you don't get any rattles or anything it sounds really good oh it's unreal like you know some boats you have to you have to bit bit of trimming and some access holes have to be put in but this thing's been well thought out we didn't actually have to modify anything we didn't have to drill any holes for access um 
The double gunnel pockets is unreal for the structure too, so it keeps your side sheets really nice and straight. And it's super handy for storage, like you're not talking a massive boat here, so um, storage is premium. Easy boat to build. If I was gonna, yeah, if you're just starting out and you wanna do a DIY, this is a boat to start on. Well, we can knock it out in two weeks, so you're sort of talking 60 to 80 hours for a bloke. You go through and build this whole thing out. Two sort of finished hot works? Finished hot yeah. works, yeah. Yeah, that's including all your dressing up of all this sort of stuff. I've been in the metal game, like aluminium game for, well, since I was 14. So I've built everything that you can make out of aluminium and boats were sort of the last thing to tick. And I just, I've always liked the shapes and stuff. Like they're just really, they look fun to build. So we've been enjoying it. We've built a bit of a team. The whole family's in behind it. Blake McQuarrie's sort of liking it too, having a bit of a custom boat builder in the house. It's, it's, it's going well. It's, a new sort of brand that we're sort of bringing in our own style of boat. It's, uh, it's going to be called the Seabreaker. Um, it's sort of a, a seven and a half length overall walk around thing with a big canopy, sort of a different sheer line. Been talking about it like we trademarked the brand when we took the venture on to go build plate boats and it's been sort of talked about for that 12 to 18 months. I uh, finally had someone ring up and say I want to build a one-off custom boat so I floated the idea and he, he took it on. But like the CNC Marine kits, we're going to continue to build them. Like they're unreal to build, and they look they look unreal. They ride unreal. They've got a good cred, so you know you're safe if you buy one. I'm happy to keep building them. I just want to put my bit of, bit of flair on something, you know. For sure. Yeah, you yeah, always yeah. want to make something your own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. That's half of it. We sort of pride ourselves on the finished product. If you're not going to do it right, don't do it. Basically, it's your name on it at the end of the day, so you want people talking, like saying good things. So what's, um, what's the next sort of year or two looking like? Well, hopefully we're just gonna up, up the machinery. We're gonna get a, a brand new press breaking house, probably one or two apprentices on board. Yep. Probably need a bigger space. We, we've got 400 squares at the moment, but it's chockers. Like building two big boats in there and a trailer is just full. So we'll have to expand there, but hopefully the Sea Breaker brand takes off. Probably get down to the Sydney Boat Show next year with one. We've got Sea Keeper on board. These boats have Sea Keeper gyros and ride on them as well. So um, hopefully they make a bit of noise. If somebody comes to you, like what can they expect? Well, pretty much you'll come in and see the shed working. So our, our showroom office, a <laughs> little office is just welding screens around a desk, but you'll come down and sit down. We talk about what your ideal boat is, what you want to do with it, um, and then what your budget is. We go through a whole list of different builds that our CNC Marine offer. And then we, we offer obviously the Sea Breaker if they want to go that way. No two boats are the same, so every customer is different. We want to tailor make it. That's the reason why you get a plate boat built and not just go and buy a run of the mill boat. You want to make something your own, something strong and something you can rely on. I always say this, this is your hull, like you get, you get a hull, you can plan it however you want. If you want rod holders here, grab rails there, kill tank, whatever you want to do. We want to make it special for them. It's supposed to be fun, so yeah, yeah you want to make it a good experience. Um, but yeah, call in, like ring up, say I want to come and check my build out. It's gone pretty easy going. They're probably going to get bombarded with videos, progress shots anyway. Like I, I've started doing story updates every day, so if your boat's in the works, you're going to see it on socials every day. Yeah, man. <laughs> Piss pump, no one can see it. <laughs>